everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to review the Larry Bat Leader 11353. It has 1071 pieces and includes 6 minifigures. Bruce Wayne, Batman, Batwoman, Robin, Catwoman, and Two-Face. This set also has a brick built clay face. If you want knock off LEGO set reviews, please like and subscribe to my channel and also click the notification bell for the latest updates to my, to my channel. This is my very first video and I hope that you viewers would enjoy my video. So let's start with the minifigures. Here is Batman in his new 52 version. For a knockoff, it's a decent looking minifigure, although the torso print isn't accurate to the official one. And they change also the bat symbol. The print quality is okay. His cape is kinda messed up. He has two faces, so let's take a look at the two faces first. Here's the normal face of Bruce Wayne. Just Okay, then take a look at the back, you can see his angry face, and uh, his smiling face, sorry. His face print could be much more better, but if you have this set, you'll notice it immediately that the print quality is not that good. So here you have the Robin minifigure. So. As we can see, there's no Robin symbol within on the left side of his chest. Take a look at that. His cape is kind of messed up. It has stitches. I'm sorry, but my camera quality is not that good for you to see that the cape is already messed up. He has two faces. The one with the angry face and the one with the smiling face. that is for Robin and now here we have the Batwoman minifigure um, what I noticed about this minifigure is look at this look at her cowl it's really good looking it's really appealing to my eyes it has great details though the hair is awesomely printed awesomely printed I don't know if it's 3d printing or what it's really great sculpted for the knockoffs, this is the first time that they made a call for Batwoman because other knockoffs don't do this kind of unique kind of call for Batwoman. They always rely on the face print and then the normal hair, just like this one here. Eh? The normal hair for the Lego woman, like this one, they always do that. But Larry Brand fortunately did something, they stepped up. So they can be much more popular than the other brands. So if you look at this minifigure, his head is his head piece is white. Let's put away his, her cowl. So it has great printing face printing. Has that abs though in his torso. He also has that Batwoman chest logo. I don't know what to call that and then she also has back printing, decent printing, decent quality. He has the angry face on the back of his head and the smiling face on the, on the front. He's really, she's really good minifigure. And here is Bruce Wayne in his elegant black suit. It's just a normal looking minifigure but I appreciate it because it is Bruce Wayne and I love Batman. So, this is just a simple first suit for Bruce Wayne, torso printing only. He also has back printing. He has two faces, the normal Bruce Wayne face and then the angry one. Oh, sorry. The angry Bruce Wayne face. The striped suit, I don't know that Bruce Wayne likes this kind of suit and if you notice all of the minifigures has black legs and it doesn't have printing 
So, and that's for Bruce Wayne. And the next minifigure is Two Face. So, we are already in the villain section. So, if you notice, his face printing doesn't match with his hair color. So, the hair piece is right, but the face print is not right. So, the damaged face of Two Face must be on the left side. Must be on the left side, in his side. So, and the normal one of Harvey, Harvey Dent should be on the right side. I've seen this on the Lego brand and I didn't notice it before until I look on YouTube for the review of this official set, official set of Lego. So he has the red suit with the pink, pink inside, I don't know what to call that, Cloth, kind of clothing is. He has a red, he has a red suit, not too much for the back painting, just a curved line under his head, just to show the, his body, and he has this bomb, I don't know, this is a bomb, right, this is a bomb and a pistol, I don't know why they didn't include the coin, or they just used the coin from the cave, from Batman's trophy room. The last minifigure which is Catwoman holding a diamond and a whip, I don't know what to call that. So he has a cat, she has a cat symbol on his hips, a sexy torso printing and what I like about this minifigure is her face printing and her cowl. If you take a look it is very similar to the official one. I love the silver printing, silver printing within the within her goggles, and this cowl is came originally from the Lego Batman movie. I don't know what year it was released. So if you take a look at the face printing, it's very it's well done by the Larry brand. So it's really good. I love that red red glass goggle. In the front he has that normal face. I oh, I call it normal face because there's not too much emotion within their faces. And then at the back is the angry face. The angry one. She also has back printing also. And that's it for this. But for this Catwoman minifigure, I'm sorry for that Batwoman. Now let's move on to the bricks or the set, the set itself. Uh, let's now go to the character which is not a minifig. It is a brick built clay face. So this clay face is much more different than the Lego Batman movie clay face. Which I think it is more awesome than this one, this version. But I think this version is kinda thin for me it's just looks strong in front but when you put sidewards he looks so thin right but what's nice about here is her head i like her i like his head because you can open it and like the like the lego movie one the lego batman movie one i don't know if they can open its mouth but that's what I like about this brick built figure and I like the simple rock details in his chest which is also used in his hands they look very nice so it has three sticker paintings on the <coughs> feet and also here so he's, he's not that good when it comes to his movements I don't know why I don't like his movements though he's kinda stiff the ball joint for this brand for the Larry brand is kinda stiff for me but it's a knockoff so I think this one is really good for knockoff one it has this teeth and they, I don't know why they use red pieces on this section under his under his mouth also on the top on the under his head but I think that's for the tongue I don't know why and that's it for this big build 
Crayfish. And now we go to the main attraction of the set, which is the bat cave. So I'm gonna divide it into three parts because it is you can detach the three pieces. So let's start with the main bat cave section. So here is the top section of the bat cave. So here we have the bat computer with Bruce Wayne in it. So take a look at the computer screens we see Damien and some kind of I don't know but I see that symbol is from from Catwoman and the main set the main screen you see bat a bat hound which is ace and his bank account which is a trillion dollars they also did display a map of the Gotham City with the alert sign if Batman of the bat signal if someone calls Batman and on the right side we see Joker Batman tracking Joker and the mini bat tank from the set so another cool things about this section is he has that mini microscope which has a DNA sticker on it and also a sticker keyboard which has a fingerprint or a handprint I don't know what to call that and I don't know the purpose of this bat symbol right there bad thing about this set is they produce inaccurate pieces so if you notice this thing right here they are too long they should be an 8x8 they should be 8x8 because this this set this piece is a 10x10 10 10 piece so that's it the next is this thing right here which is a jetpack for Batman I don't know you can also use it for Damien other characters on it so that's it and it has a sticker printing on that so checking the I don't know I don't know what to call that so that's it for this section and then here Batman has a mini training room which has a barbell and a tumbler on the right side so that's it for the top section of the bat cave. lower side of the bat cave we have the entrance to the bat cave and the mini trophy room and armory room for batman let's take a look first at the trophy room so here we have so let's put this thing right here in front of us no i can't so i'm gonna put it one by one I don't know what this thing is for or I don't know the whose villain got memorabilia this is so put down in the comments who do you think this this memorabilia is I don't know I'm sorry then next we have this one are really familiar to you oh the the rock pieces get falling apart easily so here we have the coin which is i know this is for two face and then the card for joker so that's it for the mini trophy room so you can customize it if you want to but for me it's already awesome simply awesome next is the armory so let's take this off First, so we can see the armory. So here we have the new type of batarangs. It's really cool looking batarangs. So I believe this batarang symbol looks like the this is based. I believe that this is based from the Dark Knight trilogy of Christian Bale. Has the symbol because the batarang looks like kind of Bale's Batman logo. Take a look at that. So. Next is the a new kind of they call this gra grappling gun. Grappling gun for Batman. So this is a new type of build. It's kind of inserted within this yellow brick. 
in this the back of the armory i don't know but that's it for his armory the next is the entrance of the bat cave so we try to put our bank our mini bat tank in so it fits it really fits no the bat tank thing the bat tank fits really well so i have this but mobile let's see if it fits also so here's here's my batmobile from the riddler chase set this one is an official lego one so i bought it at from a good seller at facebook so let's take a look so does fit so yeah it fits to be honest eh? but take a look it's really exact the length of this batmobile is exact for the entrance but i think it's very well done by lego by the larry brand you can put it inside though and that's it for the main section of the bat cave here we have the mini bat tank and the left side of the bat cave which is a prison slash a telecommunications part or whatever but also a stand for the batwing which is the larry 11352 set i believe that is the right set number for that for the batwing so here we have it so let's go first with the mini bat tank so this bat tank has six wheels and it's different type of wheel though so it has a lot of shooters two stud shooters one the left one on the right and some flick fire missiles right here so you can flick it or just push it right so you can see that you can just push it and it launches into the midair so other features about this bat tank i don't know yes occupies one one minifigure right here so before you do that you should open the bat big bat symbol right here and so you can open this section so where you can put the minifigure inside so it has stickers though it has stickers take a look inside it has stickers i don't know if it was the controls or what but I think it's awesome. It's a good looking mini bat tank for this set. And next we have the prison slash telecommunications thing or whatever, which is a big chest, a big bat symbol, right? Also in this thing. So I don't have, I don't still have the Larry one one three five two, but I'm hoping to buy it soon. So. Please subscribe to my channel to help me buy it so next we have the prison so another fun play feature for this for this prison is when you turn this thing you can pop the side you can pop the side of this oh that was an error <laughs> i know i didn't know what happened right there so it should be that when it pop up it should be a one on one piece so let's try it again. So and put it. Oh, it doesn't work. I don't know. Ah. Let's try it again. Oh. Hey, let's try it. Oh God, it's too hard. So this is the last part of the cave which is the right side which is, which is the elevator suit up of Bruce Wayne. So it actually comes from the top and then it goes down. I think this is a part of the Wayne Manor. So let's take a look at that design. I don't know if this thing right here does represent the vents. I don't know. And this one the pipes also the rock formation. 
And there's a cute little bat right here hanging hanging out with here and then there's a elevator button for Bruce Wayne right there so this mechanism works like this one so I'm gonna pull the tab right there and then you got Batman Bruce Wayne's gone so the mechanism is just like, let's take a look at the back side when there's Bruce Wayne so this is only possible by the spin so if you release this spin Batman will go will go down so just just need to repeat it so guys you guys can see what's happening uh, right there so just it it's kind of hard to just like so this is how the mechanism works in this structure so you need to pull out this pin then so it will let batman fall and bruce wing fall right here right here at the top so just like that and then you can get batman another thing i notice is that this thing right here doesn't fall quickly and the inaccurate one by eight piece this is a one by i think this is a one by ten piece and that's i'm really i am really disappointed with the pieces of the larry brand so that's it for this minifigure oh i that's it for this built elevator and that's it for the Larry 11353 set or the knockoff version of the Lego Clayface Invasion Batcave Clayface Invasion set. So I hope you like my video. Please leave a like for me to review this upcoming set for me. The Lele Heroes Gathering 79034. I hope you like my videos. Please leave a subs please like, share and subscribe.